Selvfølgelig vil Frank gerne afsted. Han kunne godt se, at kom han afsted, så drømmen for ham om at hjælpe sin familie ned i Afrika. Drømmen om at, at blive økonomisk uafhængig, jamen den var så tæt på, og det havde han mulighed for i sommer. Men hvor vi som klub ikke synes, at det var det helt rigtige. Og det fortalte Frank. Jeg kan huske, jeg havde sådan en lyseblå skjorte på, som vi altid har. Jeg har kun lyseblå skjorte. Men lige den dag, der var den blevet mørkeblå, fordi vi sad op i en skybox, solen skinnede ind. Og Frank var ikke helt enig i, at den næste Champions League-kamp, som var om 24 timer, at det var den vigtigste i klubbens historie. Han var meget direkte i sit sprog. Ikke på en normal Frank-måde, men han sagde til mig, at jeg skulle forstå, hvor meget det betød for ham. I was born and brought up in United States, Nigeria, and the area wasn't the best area, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had uh, friends around, and uh, I started playing football from a really young age, on barefoot, on the street. My mom never wanted me to play football. Every time we go out on the street to play football, if you just sight her coming, we just run, because if you're caught, <laughs> You get your heart beating, so we try to, you know, do what she say. Oh, we just stop and we just run back home. Start to do the domestic work that we have to do. She beat me a lot. <laughs> I was punished. I think I was the one who got punished more than my siblings. <laughs> Always, every time. I think she was afraid that now you can you can do this you can do this kind of sport it's too dangerous for you. She hear hear a lot of people saying it's very dangerous because of the injuries. She was like, no, she doesn't want me to play football. But they kept on, you know, trying to convince her, and finally she agreed. It was good. I was happy. I could do what, uh, I could do what I love, not just going to school because I don't like you know being in school. Vi snakker jo om det en gang imellem med Frank, om hvordan, og de har jo bare et hårdt liv. De blev jo ikke født, ligesom vi gør i Danmark, med muligheder for alt. Altså, de skal kæmpe sig til de muligheder. Og de skal tage mulighederne, når de er der. Og jeg ved da, at Frank han måtte kæmpe for at få lov at spille fodbold, og, og kæmpet for at, at nå hertil. Og det har også nogle gange kostet lidt konsekvenser på afrikansk mål. Baggrunden er hård. Og det er det for de fleste af de spillere, vi, 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 vi får op fra, fra Nigeria, men det er fra en meget støttende familie. Og det er jo en, en, en familie, som øh, ligger i den lave ende af sociale øh, lag i øh, Nigeria. Jeg har fire siblings. To so, brothers and to sisters. Jeg har en anden brother. Jeg er den sekunde, og en yngre brother og to lille sisters. Så det var en god familie. Frank, han er, han er en, der... Virkelig er glad for sin familie, virkelig glad for sin mor, ligesom alle andre afrikanere, og, og, og lige nu han ved at bygge et hus til sin familie, som, som man bare kan se, hvor stolt han er over, at nu kan han gøre den forskel. What about your family down side? Ja, ah, they, they are good. And house? Going well. Uh. It's finished now, I'm trying to get things inside to furniture the place. So hopefully before I go home, everything will be done. Then they can, they can move in. When you have done this yeah. trip, do your dream, mm -hmm. then It's uh, also for other Africans. It they is. can a little bit like you know, Paul do it first, th then you do it now. Med med vores afrikanske spil også med Frank, der har vi jo Churchill Lutese ned i Afrika, som vi arbejder sammen med tæt sammen med siden 2003, som vi har produceret den ene store spiller efter den anden, og lige nu har han to spillere på på Nigeria, Nigerias landshold, altså Paul og Frank. Uh, og det er altid Churchill der er med til at udvælge det ned i Nigeria. Der er 200 millioner mennesker, hvor de elsker fodbold, har passion for fodbold. Altså det er ikke engang sikkert, man har en fodbold. Man har helt sikkert ikke fodboldstøvler. Det er noget, man får, når man kommer ind på et akademi. Og for Frankes vedkommende var det sikkert første gang, han fik fodboldstøvler. Det var da han kom ind på vores akademi. At some point, I was starting to get discouraged. You know, nothing was happening. I was just training and nothing. No scout, nothing. So I started... Uh, 
started trying to learn something like to have an uh, end job, you know. Uh, so I tried to learn how to uh, fix the roof, you know, like. So I was doing that and also going to train the board, not as much as I was I was doing before. My coach told me that, hey, uh, we have this guy coming from Lagos. We have to, and uh, we have to beat other teams to show yourself that you are you are a good player. I was playing as a centre back for almost a year. My coach called me. I was like, you have to play as a midfielder today. I was like, but. I can't play, I'll be playing as a centre back for like more than a year now. You ask me to play as a midfielder, it's not gonna happen, it's not it doesn't work that way. It was like if you wanna make name in football, if you wanna play football, centre backs they don't really see them so much. It's from the midfield to the attack. Then I said, okay, I have to do that. Then I played as a midfielder. To be honest, I was the worst player on the pitch. And I was like, yeah, it cost everything and now <laughs> we just have to stay here. But Churchy called, my coach called me and I was like, you've been selected and you'll be. I was like, how? I was the worst player, so now I was among the three players selected. I went home, told my mom, she was happy. So, yeah, that's how I moved from my hometown. We will gennem lang tids erfaring, at der er rigtig mange dygtige midtbandspillere dernede. Og lige netop den type, som Frank er, er nogen, som vi har haft flere af, og som vi ved giver noget til den måde, som vi spiller fodbold på i Midtland. Der vi så får ham op som en del af to andre, som skal på prøve. Der kan vi hurtigt se, at det her det er, det er en rigtig, rigtig dygtig midtbandspiller. Lidt uslip midtbandspiller. En forholdsvis hård midtbandspiller, som har meget at lære. Jeg tror, at almost everyone liked me as a person, as a player I am. But if I'm playing with with your team, you are happy. But if I'm playing against your team, uh, you're not happy. Ah, men der altså de rutinerede spillere der mødte Frank første gang. De mødte jo typisk han snubber først. <laughs> de gik jo. Frank han han har været ind i taklingerne. Han gav den gæst. Der hed han Frank Frisbak. Uh, vi havde ikke en træning, hvor han ikke lavede tre, fire, fem dumme frisbak, fordi han kastede sig rundt. Uh, I en god mening. Uh, alle kunne stadig godt lide ham, men de rutinerede spillere havde faktisk svært ved at acceptere ham i starten, fordi de var bange for, at de blev skadet. Og der var hans helt store udfordring, den her med at styre sig selv, styre sin aggressivitet. Uh, og det er typisk en ung spiller, som gerne vil frem, uh, og det har han lært at kontrollere nu. Uh, han går amok, når han går ind over stregen, og ved godt, hvad han er god til, uh, ved godt, hvad det er. Vi ser i ham, ved godt, hvad det er, vi har brug for fra ham. Øhm, og det er udtrykket og nærkampene og alle de fysiske kompetencer, man har. Så har han så stille og roligt lagt på øhm, med bolden. Hvad var det dag, du gik til Midtjylland? Uh, 2015. 15. 15. Også lidt. Since you arrived to Denmark, Midtjylland har været succes. Yeah. First trophy. You was not part of that. You no, no, only no, on no, the academy. No, 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 academy. But the last two seasons, have, season. you have developed. The club, the league. And the league again. Yeah. Mm. National team. <laughs> National team, Champions League. Big, If we for two team. years ago had said to each other, oh, this will be the next two years. I won't, Nobody. I won't believe. No. I won't believe anyone. Frank styrker på banen, tror jeg alle, der ser ham, kan se det kraftværk, han er. Uh, han erobrer bolde overalt, han uh, går hårdt ind i taklingerne, han gør alt for, at holdet skal klare sig. Og en af grundene til, at vores to midterforsvar har klaret sig så godt og holdt clean sheet sammen med målmanden, enten Løssel eller Jesper, i lang tid, jamen det er jo, Frank har ryddet op foran dem. Altså, det er let at være midterforsvar med, med en Frank foran sig. Uh, så, så det er sådan fodboldspilleren Frank, der bare gør sine holdkammerater bedre. Uh, og så er der personen Frank, som er den ydmyge stille. Men Frank han er unik, altså, fordi når han går på banen, så er han alt andet end, øh, end hvad han er udenfor. Og det vil sige en, der bare er fanden i volsk og har det udtryk, som, som vi elsker som klub. Øh, men når han så går, går i omklædningsrummet, og du møder ham ude på banen, så er han lige så ydmyg og dejligt menneske, som man overhovedet kan være. Han vil det bedste for andre mennesker. Øh, han er opdraget øh, utrolig godt og har de rigtige værdier. Frank han er utrolig sødt menneske. Han er i bund og grund en rigtig blød person, øh, og en lidt sky person, og en, som har brug for, at han har tryghed i dem, han, han færdes iblandt. 
Og der har han, det har han stadigvæk, men han har også lært, at den verden, han er i nu her, der er der, der er der også brug for, at man sådan lige står op for sig selv øh, og også får markeret sig. Øh, og det, 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 det har han lagt på sin personlighed. Øh, og nu er han der, hvor de præstationer, som han har og de sidste to år mesterskabet, øh, sidste år Champions League i år og kæmper med om mesterskabet igen som en af de bærende spillere, det er, øh, det, det er så stærkt et statement, at der er næste step for, for Frank. Det, det tror jeg, vi alle sammen er klar over. You know, I remember when uh, we had the discussion before the most important Champions League match. But still, in the match, you was focused. And you and me know how it was 24 hours before the match. <laughs> you were aggressive on me. Yeah, but... You, you remember, remember how much I sweat? You remember? My jersey was uh, not... Uh, it was dark after it. But but what I was impressed was you go to the match and focus, yeah. and I know how it look 24 hours before the match. Before the match, we, we all fighting. Uh, yeah. but game time, take everything aside and focus on. We had actually agreed with Frank that the time was not coming to that he should go and try. Noget andet, vi aftalte med hans agent, at tiden var, at han skulle ud og prøve noget andet. Hvis det rigtige tilbud kom, så var vi ikke afvisende for at, at sælge ham. Men så kommer vi også ind i det der, at vi bliver mester, Champions League-muligheden. Og det passede måske bedre for os, og vi tror også på, at vi kunne få en bedre pris for Frank ved at vise ham frem i Champions League på, på allerhøjeste hylde. Det, det er hårdt at sluge for alle spillere, når de har præsteret godt, og når man så ikke får opfyldt den drøm, det jo er at komme til næste klub. For os som klub var det jo en drøm at beholde Frank et år mere, så vi kunne opnå alt det, vi har opnået, som vi også har gjort nu. Så derfor er det også vigtigt for spillere som Frank, som har præsteret over så lang tid, at tage det næste step. The dream was to go to a new club. Mm-hmm. That was what you dreamed about. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was the dream. So, yeah. And now? So now it's, it's happening. <laughs> Not many players in the world have played Champions League and Premier League no. the same season. No. I talked with Rasmus, you will train with us a little bit, yeah. but you have to be careful, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so you can be ready. Yeah. So when you start in Brentford, yeah. you're ready, yeah, you know, ready. to show them. Yeah, yeah. How was the trip to Nigeria? It was good, it was good. I, no, I had this uh, really one, Paul, Babajiti, I saw a slide down there, Izuna also. So we are together sometimes. All the sun from it, you're together. <laughs> all, the, all the sun from it, like, so it was, it was really nice. It was ah, yeah. really nice. It's really nice. It's funny, you know, you all have, you all have go from yeah. your small country, small houses, yeah. to Churchill's yeah. academy, yeah. And, and then you go to Midtjylland, and now many of you have played on the yeah. national team. Yeah. Yeah. That's the dream. Yeah, That was the dream. the dream. And to go out and play in bigger club. And many of you have done it. Yeah. And now you're the next. If not for you guys, I won't be where I am today. So the opportunity you gave to me and uh, yeah, the way the club have helped me grow as a player is really, uh, I'm really, really grateful for that. You have to be proud, friend. You have been a fantastic guy. I know you will work hard. So congratulations to be in the biggest league in the world. We know you will make us proud. Thank so you. thank you, Rob. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Every time I go home, I always tell my mom, I remember when you don't want me to play football, you have to go to school. Yeah, I know, I know, but still, I tell you. <laughs> so, yeah, she's really, really proud.